So the i7-8750H was a very popular gaming laptop CPU, but it's been replaced by the i7-9750H, bringing it uh, an extra boost in uh, base clock from uh, 2.2 to 2.6 gigahertz, and uh, the single core boost clock from uh, 4.1 gigahertz to 4.5 gigahertz, and with all six cores active, jumping from 3.9 to 4 gigahertz. But what extra performance does it bring to the table? Now I will be covering gaming performance later on, so this is just going to be CPU benchmarks and performance. So is it worthwhile upgrading? Let's find out. First up is a 4K video render using uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. On the right we have the i7-8750H on the Lenovo Y740. And as you can see the CPU is averaging about 3440 MHz. And on the left we have the i7-9750H on the MSI GF75. The CPU averaging 3240 MHz. Interestingly, the i7-8750H took 7 minutes 36 seconds, some 33 seconds faster than the 9750H. In terms of power usage, the 8750H pulled an average of 59 watts versus 46 watts for the 9750H. And interestingly, the peak power was 86 watts on the 8750H and 72 watts on the 9750, which is great because they're both peaked out about 3,900 megahertz. This bodes quite well for perhaps for gaming. Hopefully the CPU will run cooler. Next up is the new Cinebench R20 benchmark. Now this is the multi-core uh, benchmark and it's highly threaded. So the 9750H only has a 100 megahertz um, advantage over the 8750H. So we should expect performance to be quite similar here. Now, despite that uh, 100 megahertz advantage, the 9750H comes in slightly behind, 3% behind at 2,613 points, compared to the 8750H's 2,695 points. It was a very close result, and both CPUs were running in the low 80s. Next, let's see how that 400 megahertz benefits single core performance in Cinebench R20. And without a doubt, the higher clock rate on the 9750 helps out here. 436 points to 401. That's a 9% improvement. In my third test, I use Handbrake to encode a 4GB 1080p file. The 9750H is averaging 37.4fps uh, with an average CPU clock rate of 3540 MHz. In contrast, the 8750H is only running at 34.6 frames per second and an average clock speed of 3450 MHz. So the 9750H finishes it in 26 minutes 53 seconds versus the 8750H at 29.07. That's a 10% improvement. And one thing to note also, and one thing to note, the 9750 averages 43 watts versus the 8750 averaging 59 watts. So it does show it is more efficient. And finally, the Corona Ray benchmark using the CPU to render a 3D image. The 9750H does this faster as well. Um, does it in two minutes, 47 seconds versus the 8750H doing it in three minutes, one second. It does this whilst using 10 watts less power. Not bad at all. And indeed on average, it used about six watts less than the 8750H but it did generally have a higher boost clock, seeing it win in the Corona benchmark and the handbrake test. This resulted in generally a higher temperature. So it was a little bit of a mixed bag, wasn't it really? I think, to be honest, if it's using uh, less than the six cores, it is uh, certainly fast as the 9750H. You know, single core performance is great, and even when it's using two or three cores, that uh, is an improvement. But once you start uh, taxing out all six cores, the difference is not that uh, much. And in fact, I think it uh, tends to throttle down a little bit more, as shown by the average CPU clock rate on the 8750H. But I did like that it was using uh, less power, and the only time when it started using more power was when that boost clock uh, on the one, two, or three cores was uh, going up to quite high. That's when it started uh, using a bit more power, and of course the temperature would go up there. But all in all, I think it's a pretty good uh, good CPU to have. I do like that uh, less power. And anyway, I hope you found that useful, 
And uh, certainly, if you think if you uh, the prices will come down on the 8750Hs, I think that's still a good CPU to have. Thanks for watching. Bye.